What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another edition of Born to Be Nerd. My name is. If you're joining us for the first time, okay. My name's Ethan. My name is Lance. This is Missy, and uh, today we are watching My Hero Academia. Uh, this. This is. I don't even know what episode this is. It's episode 14? thirteen or fifty-one. Yeah. Um. I think you said that this might be kind of a little filler-ish episode. Yeah, that's what some people in the uh, Reddit, or not Reddit, but the uh, discussion board of the, not where, I, where the episode was. The oh, okay. episode. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how exciting this is. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Um, usually, though, this this series, even though like it is a shonen, like it generally does a pretty good job of like even if it's like a filler episode, mm -hmm. it still gives like necessary information. Yeah, I mean, last half season, some of the some of the filler episodes got on our nerves a little bit, mm -hmm. particularly. Um, but this season, it seems like it's yeah. It, well, I mean, like I'll tell you what. One of my favorite. I don't, it's not a filler, but. One of my favorite uh, slower episodes was the uh, the hero name episode, mm -hmm. where all the students like pitch their hero names. Yeah, I think about that all the time because uh, I forget her name. The bug girl. Uh yeah, it's bits of acid. Whatever. Yeah, where she was like Pinky. <laughs> oh, it just cracks me. I think about like I I, I joke around with that all the time, um, and then Bakugo with his funny stuff. I don't know, but. I think this one might be, I don't know if it's going to be another one of those, because well, I, I haven't seen it, but um, I, I've, I feel like they're going to go really lighthearted with this one, if that's what, if the the rumor about it being a filler is true, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe that's kind of like what we need, you know. Yeah, the past couple have been kind of heavy. Yeah. Last episode was really emotional. Um... You just want to get into it, or sure. Is there anything that you want to? I don't know. I can't think right now. I uh, I I've only been awake for like thirty minutes, and I stayed up really late editing, so I'm a little out of it. But I'm gonna try to get into get into get into get into another gear. Yeah. And my, I woke up with really bad allergies. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's from all like. Mowing the grass yesterday and getting all that stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's funny. Oh, she found a oh, shoe. She got a shoe. Get in it. You know you want to. Oh. Oh. Idiot. Cats are weird. Cats are so stupid. Um. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Can't start with more emotion. I can't handle this today. Izuku,ユーエで生活していくなら分かってるね。絶対心配させない。そんな顔で言わないでよ。本当は嫌なんだよ。でもイズクは私の知らない間に。<笑> アコガレのヒーローからここまで行ってもらえるようになってたんだもんね。これがあなたにとって何よりも幸せなことなんだよね。母の許しを得た僕は家を出て新生活を始める。これから寮について軽く説明するが。いろいろ棚上げした上で言わせてもらうよ。オールマイトの引退がなければ俺は幕府の次郎を剥がくれ以外全員除籍処分にしてる。言った5人はもちろん、把握しながら止められなかった12人
Took him in there and like punched him or something, made him use all his electricity, and then because he knew it would make everybody laugh. I don't know. It kind of feels like Bakugo tried to cheer everybody up because of it was like he feels responsible. I don't know. Now it's like Harry Potter. <laughs> Everyone gets their own dorm? Huh. You never lived in a dorm, did you? No. You lived off the yeah, campus? Lived off campus. Yeah, I've never lived in dorms either. I would like go and stay over at my buddy Daniel's house and stuff, like mm -hmm. his dorms at the village. But... Oh, they wanted to go to his room. Oh, they're gonna sneak into everybody's room? Invisibility girl. <laughs> they made his room different. They remodeled his room, that's funny. <laughs> Is it a kitchen? I wonder if anyone's gonna be hiding like that. Look at that. That's cool. I wonder if, uh, I, for some reason I feel like, uh, <laughs> oh, Chaka Chan is gonna have like a picture of her Midoriya that she forgot about or something. Yeah, she is really a, like a really bubbly. Uh, God dog. She's like a really bubbly girl, like girly girl. Oh. Oh. 
I guess I was wrong. Thought there was gonna be something. What is that on the ground? Was that scarring on his arm? Or I think it was just like it hasn't all the way healed yet. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I've been a pretty big filler episode. Is there anything after it? I don't know, let's see. It's <laughs> so yeah, pretty much what we expected. Yeah. It's a little filler episode. Yeah, um, some funny moments. Yeah. Uh, also some drawn out moments. Yeah. And we're, we're not fans of Minata at all. Yeah. He's just so gross. Like, there's, I've watched anime where there's a perverted character, but like he takes the top. Yeah. Like, like he goes in straight and like hump into an invisible girl's room and like immediately starts sniffing her underwear. No, he was just like sniffing the air in I, the room. No, he was sniffing her underwear. That was like her underwear drawer and he was like Oh uh, yeah. I was like, what in the fuck? Yeah. Um Dude it's creepy shit. If I was the principal I would kick him out <laughs> for a decent behavior. I mean, the saying goes, "Boys will be boys," but I just, I'm just not a fan of of he's that a, type of character. He's just a dirty boy. It's just gross. He just, I don't know. He's gross. He makes weird, like gross facial expressions. Um, Bakugo, they slipped a little little nugget of Bakugo trying to like make amends in like his own way. Mm-hmm. And I really like that. You really think he's trying to make a joke? Yeah, I think uh, I think he he knew that everyone laughed. Like he looks like a really big like dummy whenever he uses all of his electricity. So he took him behind the bush and I don't know, shoved his finger in his butt or something, <laughs> made him use all his electricity because he knew like he looks dumb and makes it would make everybody laugh because everybody felt bad, you know. Yeah. And he, maybe he felt responsible. That's just why I assume. I don't know any other reason why he would have done that to that guy. Because I forget the, the character's name, but he wasn't part of the rescue team, so it's not like Bakugo would be mad at him or, or anything. Yeah. So I think it was purely just because he knew it would make everybody laugh. Because that's exactly what it did. Yeah. Um, and then he gave uh, Kirishima yeah. his money back. Um, which I don't know how he found out about that. Maybe one of the teachers let him know or something. Maybe he saw it on Kirishima's computer. Um, there it is. He didn't. He didn't think the others, but I think a he didn't think Todoroki because he knew Todoroki wouldn't care. Yeah. Like, like I think him and Todoroki have an understanding that like they just they do what they want. You know. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't think Midoriya because he doesn't like Midoriya. Yeah. And then Momochan, I'm not sure about Momochan. Maybe she makes him nervous because she's really pretty, <laughs> or she's really smart and just like. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. Um, but it was really cool seeing him, like, try to Trying. cheer everybody up. Yeah. Putting forth an effort. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, shorter episode. Not really a whole lot to talk about. Probably. Yeah. I, I wish. I mean, you know, it kind of bumps me out whenever our reactions are kind of light, but... You know, we're reacting realistically, so yeah. we're not forcing anything, you know. But, um, yeah, it looks like next episode we'll pick up with some training. Some training montage. Um, maybe somebody will, maybe they'll learn something, or maybe it will just be about, more about teamwork and stuff. I don't know. Whenever, before the villains showed up, they were training to build up their endurance with their powers you know yeah. um, so maybe they'll get back to that but I'm not sure I don't know I want to see I want to see this is the biggest thing Midoriya needs to get a better handle of his quirk and so that needs to be the focus but I personally have no idea how he's going to achieve that at all I don't know he, he I don't think I don't know what all my muscle growth is like people have tried to explain it in the comments he's explained it in the anime but it doesn't make sense because this anime like it switches between realism and supernatural all the time Mm -hmm. so I don't know what to uh, what to critique scientifically and he talks about how like he's pretty much just flexing and that's what gives him the ability to handle the uh, one for all's quirk, the quirk one for all. But that's impossible because he has no muscle mass. Yeah. You can't flex and become a giant. You know, like he he gets taller. Like, it, yeah, it's art, it's drawn, but still, if if these things have a certain level of science behind them, or you know, attempted science, then. I can't help but to argue that that's impossible for him to just grow his muscles. So, I I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, if it's just the way it is, then I can then fine. I'll 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 take it. But a long time ago, the guy's far far away. Either buy yeah, it or you don't. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know, man. I kind of thought about the possibility that it was a dormant quirk of his. Like, maybe he didn't know, like, maybe his his quirk, like, his natural quirk, that he thought he was quirkless, but his natural quirk is that um, he's able to handle a lot of energy like that, or something. I don't know. I was just trying to come up with something, because I don't, it doesn't make sense. And because of that, I don't know what Midoriya can do. Like, is he going to teach Midoriya how to do that growth thing? I don't think so. Exactly. So if Midoriya can't... It seems like something he would have tried to teach him already. Mm-hmm. If it helps him control that mm-hmm. quirk, then why would he withhold that information if it allows him to not destroy his body? Exactly, exactly. So. And so if that, and that's another reason why I don't know what that is, is because he hasn't passed it on to Midori. It's exclusive to him, which is kind of odd. Um, and so if Midoriya can't expand his muscles. To be able to withstand that amount of force, then what's the next option? You know, I have no clue. He's gonna, it's gonna have to be something crazy, something like we can't see coming. I don't know. If you know the answer, don't tell us. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to know. I want to learn. But I don't know. It just it it bugs me really bad because, like, his power is so different. Like we know people with with the same type of stuff like Superman and all these other heroes but they don't have the scientific stuff behind it you know mm-hmm. like he's got this, the scientific stuff behind it about how it damages his body because it's too much for his body to handle so because of that I have no clue what he can do to fix it except for use less power you know yeah. I don't know um I don't know they're probably gonna drag it out yeah <laughs> I don't know he, he might discover a new like aspect of it in the next couple of episodes yeah. okay well call it yeah we'll call it here okay 
Uh, well, that's going to be it for us, guys. I hope you liked the video. I know it was kind of short yeah. and like not very eventful, but hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Um, if you did, give us a like. It helps out a lot. If you've not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because then you'll know whenever we post new stuff and you'll have a lot more in-depth access. access. And we'll just like, yeah. Yeah, Thank and you. again, we're trying to reach 10,000 so that... Hey uh, we're trying to reach 10,000 so that we can unlock our community tab on, on our channel, which gives us more access to interact with all of you. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Yeah. Bye.